Jordan was, you know, no challenge was too big. He, he went after it. It's been just over four years since Dana Way's son, U.S. Marine Jordan Way, died. He didn't let anything hamper him. Documents show the cause of his 2017 death was opioid toxicity following shoulder surgery at a military hospital in California. Records detail the Marine Corpsman was following the orders of military doctors who, despite Jordan's concerns, kept increasing his painkillers. We just don't want this to happen to anybody else. I mean, we're four years. How many days is that? How many hours is that? How many minutes is that that we have been without our son? After his death, Jordan's parents joined the fight to allow service members and their families to file claims against the military for medical malpractice, something that wasn't allowed until December of 2019 after reports by WUSA 9. And it wasn't until July of last year when the service branches finally started processing claims. So as we have for years now, we checked back in with the military to find out where this stands. Here are the claims that have been filed. 153 with the Army, 101 in the Navy, and 110 with the Air Force. And that's the only branch to come to any sort of settlement so far. The Air Force made four offers for a combined total of just $35,325. The Ways are still waiting to see where their claim stands with the Marine Corps. <laughs> it's, it's laughable. These are not just legal documents. These are service members, military families left waiting. It's dragging your feet. Do you think as these claims begin to get paid that they will bring more accountability because there's a financial consequence? I hope so. That is the ultimate hope. That is for me at least, that, that these payouts, that these claims are so big that it makes the DOD, it makes the medical community within the uh, Department of Defense think twice. But that doesn't seem to be the case, at least not yet. We brought the issue to Virginia Senator Tim Kaine. I practiced law for 17 years before I got into statewide politics. Medical malpractice cases are complicated. He sits on the Armed Services Committee. Here, I'm not completely surprised. I would encourage any Virginian who is having any concern about a claim that they filed, if they want to reach out to our office, this is the kind of constituent service we do all the time. As for what Jordan would think about his family still waiting on its claim. He would want this to all come to light as, as we've been working for, and he would want these wrongs made right.